guys, welcome back to another episode of Captain Kirk Productions. Today, we're doing a little road trip to the comic store and see what we can find. And I have with me, Drake. Hey guys, um, the comic store just opened uh, a few, uh, maybe a few days ago, actually. So, so we're kind of uh, ready to go out, uh, pick up some comics. We, last time we went there, which was probably a good... Uh, I don't know, a few months ago now. It's been at least two because we filmed all those videos before quarantine. So I think it's at least two, two and a half months, something like that. All right. So last time we were there, we saw a She-Hulk. And so we're going to go back and look at a She-Hulk. I forget what, what the price was. I forget what the, their grade, what they thought the grade was. It's a raw book. It's been a long time, so it's right. understandable. So we're going to the She-Hulk number one. And then there's also Detective Comics 880. Yeah, that's what I got my eye on. Another one of those. Now, Kirk... Jax, you are uh, Mr. Uh, Captain Kirk. You have a 880, right? Yeah, I have an 880 and a 94, I believe. Uh, 94 or 96, I can't recall. Um, but I would like to add another one. This one's, I remember when we saw it, it was very, I thought it was very underpriced for the grade. And before, when you guys purchased that amazing uh, Adventures 11. 11 they said it was around a seven. We pressed it, we graded it, it came back a nine. That's so right. So I'm hoping maybe we can do a little flipping on this, maybe turn a quick profit, reinvest it, maybe get a better Detective Comics 880. I don't know. Sky's the limit really today. Right. So we got the first uh, furry beast um, here at the same comic store. And so we're going to see if we can get uh, maybe Detective 880, Detective Comics 880, maybe She Hulk. Um, I think there was. Oh, and then there was a Swamp Thing number one, which we uh, also have. I think it, I don't know if it was number one. I think it was 37, I think. Well, that's the one that has the first John Constantine in uh, it. Ah, yeah, that's and right. I think that one was graded. I might check that one out as well and see if we can get a good deal on it. But there's, got, there's a few options here. It's a nice store, got a lot of nice selections, so I'm excited. All right, you heard it, guys. So those are the three comics we're after. Um, we will uh, find out if they have them and kind of what the what the prices are and the condition so uh stay stay tuned all right just made it to uh the bookery um we're about to go in and uh check it out you ready all right let's go see what's going on all right guys fresh back from the comic store and we picked up dr chef hey how you guys doing again and drake's still with us oh yeah hey uh, we did pick up three comics so um We'll see if they're the ones that we were looking for. You ready? What, can't you tell me before I look at it? Before no. Before we pop them out? Nope. This is going to be a surprise. We want your genuine first reaction. Oh, geez. All right. Let's go. We're going to show what we got at the comic store and maybe a little toy haul from the Xenia toy store. Oh, ready? Yeah. Let's bring out the first one. Pretty excited. All right. So, um, we'll, we'll actually start with... Uh, we start with the big dog first? Yeah, no, we'll, we'll start... We'll so start small and work our way. Small work our way up. So we got. He's um, we got first Rogue. Ooh. Um, oh. Rogue number one. This is uh, Rogue in her first run, and I think this was out in ninety four, ninety five. I believe she had the run. Yep. She's got the runs. And it was a really cheap pickup, and uh, just cool. Uh, Rogue is just an awesome character. Yeah. So where did we pick this up at? This was at the toy shop, um, this is nice. and they had a few comics. This was, you know, a few dollars. Um, they expanded their comic selection, which I really liked, and it yeah. gave me a lot more stuff to look at. But also, while we were there, I picked up Boom, Supergirl. Oh. Added this to my DC Pepsi Cup collection, which I'll be showcasing in a future video. But it's nice to have Supergirl on the oh, on yeah. the squad this time. Welcome home. Mm -hmm. Welcome home. All right. Okay. Now these are the two books that we picked up at uh, the bookery. It's a comic store, and they're pretty. They're, they're legit. Reasonably priced. Yep. Ready? Where are they at? What Yellow Springs? Fairborn. Uh, Fairborn. Fairborn. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. So we'll start again. We'll leave the biggest for last. This is um, Spider-Man Noir. Wow. This is the first copy. It's a variant cover. But this is a uh, uh, Spider-Man Noir number one. I love that cover. Here, isn't that a cool cover? It is. So we picked this up, picked this one up for like fifty bucks. Um, I, less than that with the sale, right? Less less than that with the sale. I think. Yeah, man. 
Yep. It's near mint, right? So the condition's really good. And, you know, I think a 9.6 goes for about 100 bucks. Uh, 9.8, maybe 200. So. So 9.6 and higher, you came out on top, which is nice. Which I right. love. I really like going to the Fairborn comic shop. I've only been there a couple of times, but I feel like the pricing is very reasonable, if not undervalued. And we can get some really good deals there. And so you show the audience the, the cover. So you all know, well, at least I know Spider Man Noir from. From the multiverse. That's right. Into yeah. the Spider Verse, right? Into Spider Verse. Yeah. Yes. That's actually my favorite Spider Man. It's a really good one. Mine, too. Yeah. I've seen it at least like six times. No since way, it came really? Out. Yeah. That's awesome. It's amazing. It is, it is my favorite Spider Man as well. Yeah. And um, before that, I didn't know there was a Spider Man Noir. Oh, yeah. I think. This came out in 2009, I believe, which is actually a long time ago now. It doesn't seem like that seems, long ago. <laughs> but it was. This is 2020, yeah. right? Wow. Yeah. That's a good book. So I that's like a, that. Yeah. So, Near Mint, it looks like it's in good condition, so we're excited to see... Uh, what Do you think he'll ever get a film? Or is it kind of too old school? Uh, I would say he's more of a cameo type character. Kind of like but a Tracy type. Yeah. 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 Good, potentially. I mean, it could happen. He's not that board game. Dick Tracy? Yeah, yeah randomly. I, don't, I just remembered that. Funny you mentioned that. At the comic store, uh, I forgot yeah. to tell you this. They had a Dick Tracy book. Oh. It was from 1943. And it was like 60 bucks. Oh, like, wow. from that. And I was like, huh. But I thought about getting it. But kids these days probably don't even know who that is. No. I barely know who it is, to be honest yeah. with you. But. You know, but Noir, he was voiced by, was it Nick Cage? Who was it? Who was he voiced by? Is it Nick Cage? He He's sounded like Nick, Nick Cage. Yeah, it had to be Nick Cage. Was it Nick Cage? Yeah. I mean, he was, he was in that movie, wasn't he? It's like a yeah. thank you, Ashley. Yeah, Ashley, my wife. Thank you. Um, yeah, so Nick Cage, um, and I thought he did a he did a really good job. Yeah. Like his character was pretty, yeah. pretty spot on. And yeah, yeah. nice. All, All right. right, okay. This, this is the heavy this hitter. This is the big dog. Uh oh. So I we, like what you did there with the heavy hitter. I'm excited to see Siggy's reaction oh. to this. He's got to be Batman. Oh. oh. All right. Let the people see it real fast. Superman what? versus Muhammad Ali. How? What? Classic Neil Adams cover. Don't have this book. Have it now. Excited for it. Look at that. that. They even yeah. Look at that. Isn't that that's, cool? That's pretty good. So and that. Yes. yes. Man's in the audience. Who's Professor this? X. Is that's, that who that is? That's not Professor. That would be a Marvel character. Yeah, who is that? Then? I don't know. So yeah, so Batman <laughs> down here. Uh, maybe <laughs> Ashley, my wife, was thinking... Um, who? Jimmy Carter. Oh, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Carter. Carter. Yeah, I think yeah, it was yeah. Jimmy Carter. Because this, so this was in the 70s, 74, 5. Yeah, mid-70s. I don't know when exactly. So, but uh, check out that cover. I didn't even know this. That's a tr so this is a treasury comic. And unfortunately, this cannot be graded, but they have it graded as about an 8 in the store. Right. Um, it looks to be really good condition, so. So I think CBCS wow. um, will grade them. But it's a funny looking bag type. I don't know if that was legit. That I think so. Weird. And then they slapped the grade on it. It looked like it was in like a bag. And then on like the bottom right, it had the CBCS label on it. Oh. He was looking at it in the car. I didn't get a chance to see so it. So we'll see if that's accurate or not. I don't know. Yeah. But um, I'm trying to see if there's anyone like in the background that's like. There's another. I can't remember which book it is. Maybe it is this one. No, it's a, it's a different one because I was watching one of Neil Adams' live streams, and there was like another comic that he did where there's like this entire audience, and each audience member is like a specific character yeah, or like. Cool. Oh, yeah. But I can't remember what book it is. If you remember, comment down below. I I'm trying to think what it is, but it was like a famous cover that he did where it just had like a, an audience, and every audience member was its own That's pretty character. Cool. Yeah. So check this out, guys. It it came in about a hundred bucks, I think. It was like one thirteen after the discount yeah. and everything. I mean, that's not bad. But I mean, it does look in really good condition. An eight zero seems to be, I, it seems to be. I mean, underrating how good it, it looks in person. So it would be cool if we could get it graded. Maybe at some point they'll grade treasury books because I have quite a few of these. So that would be nice. I mean, that would be a giant. Be my next question. Yeah. How many of, is it like a series of these or what is it? Like just like one one off collection. Yeah, it's or? like one off. So I have other ones that like. They kind of redid like the first appearances of like Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and it says on there like treasure, like first edition, like that kind of thing. And they're like all this size. 
And they're hard to find in like good condition because they're so big that they were hard to store. Yeah. But most of the ones I have are like probably in this condition or better. So it's really they're cool. I hope it, at some point they can be graded and encapsulated, but it'd be kind of a weird big <laughs> capsule to have. But might be Lex Luthor watching. Oh, Super Bowl lose. That could be actually. Yeah. yeah. That's actually a good point. Because there's three prominent figures at the bottom. Looks like Batman, maybe Lex, and then That's, Jimmy for some reason. Yeah. And this is actually Neil's signature. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I've gotten it so many times, I know what it looks like. That's kind of cool that he signed it there. Not, not a, really, but you know. But yeah. It's for the work. printing. Yeah. yeah. So, anything else we got in that bag? That's amazing. Oh, we got one the more thing. thing. No, I haven't. I'll give this to Captain Kirk here. Okay. So, we got special <laughs> gift from oh, Dr. Boy. Chef. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, this. Is an honorary <laughs> honorary merch T-shirt for Doctor Chef for whenever he fills in on the show. He's on the show. I, I was just saying it can't be this because there's more yeah. than three people. It doesn't matter. We just listen. There's there's a trifecta, but there's also a oh. trifecta outside the trifecta. There's plus ones, plus twos. That's amazing. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Um, so, whenever you fill in, feel free to wear it, or if you just want to wear it out and about to promote the channel, you know, get the get the word of mouth out on the merch that is not for sale. It just keeps proving that I'm taking Eric's spot. Uh, <laughs> that's right. He's going. Eric's <laughs> dipping his he's dipping his hand in ranch. So sometimes we gotta get gotta get Doctor Shift on here. So well. let me just say that when when uh, when we have people around this table talking about comics, regardless, we're in the trifecta. Of uh, I see at uh, the moment that yeah moment that's time. right yeah. right so it doesn't matter who it is but it's just the spirit that we bring to this channel I like that really yeah. I feel part of the crow club now yeah so now when you yeah. go work out you can wear that <laughs> yeah. yeah well it's Thanks, been another guys. really good episode so stay tuned we got some more comic hauls coming we got a very in depth discussion that we're going to be talking about the Snyder Cut very Ooh. soon which mm -hmm. I'm really excited Me about. Too. And um, be on the lookout. We're going to have some more content. Going to be doing some more CGC grading uh, hauls, send-offs, those kind of things. So it's going to be epic. For a special request, if you yes. guys are watching before Drake goes. Um, if you guys request a book and an in-depth review of it, like just comment down below. Kirk probably has something related to it or the book itself. Yeah. So we can actually, you know, if you guys want to know some more stuff about it or grading about it, like we can talk about that too. So just... Comment down below, and these guys will probably. That's right. That's, you know. that's why we have doctors on the show because they know. <laughs> they, they're smart. They know things. I know nothing. So. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, tune in next time. Take us out. <laughs> that's all I got. Nice. Yeah, I was really throwing up. <laughs>